So what is a hub and spoke network? Well, you are looking at one. The what do you mean it looks like a smiley? Do you have any experience at all with networks? Do you not recognize what a router looks like? That's a router. Those are not eyes. That's a router. Within the hub, you have your routers. And this is your loopback, your 127. This is a patch cable. Let's, let's change this up a little bit. There you have it. We'll just have it be a circle. There is your hub, and here are your spokes. And that is a hub and spoke network. It's a network where you have access to, you can have a single point where you can access all of these exterior destinations. But to better understand what a hub and spoke network is about, let's start from square one. Why would we even need this in the first place, right? So let's start up. So here we have you. You want to start up some kind of a trading firm or whatever, and you want to send out orders to places like, say, the New York Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange, and you might want to send out to different brokers. Let's just call it B for broker, so broker one, broker two. So you might want to route to various brokers and things like that. So there is your situation. Now, how are you going to make these connections? Now, you can, you can have direct connections or point-to-point -point connections. You can have direct connections to the exchange. Um, but if you want to send an order to this broker, you're going to have to have another connection. You want to, have a, can they want to send orders to this second broker, you're going to have to have a third connection. So now you are running three separate connections. You have the, the responsibility of maintaining these connections, the expense of these connections. So that's a lot of stuff going on, and maybe that doesn't work for you. So what are your other options? Now, another option that you can do is you can actually route your orders through the Internet if you are crazy enough to do so, because you're not going to get reliable performance in using the Internet. You have security issues and things like that. So ideally, you don't want to be sending your orders through the internet. So let's change up this model and now we can see why the hub and spoke network comes into play. Instead of doing these direct connections, you have a hub and you have a spoke. And you have another spoke. And you have another spoke. Or more accurately, and you have another spoke. More accurately, you have one spoke and the hub has three spokes which you have access to via the hub. So the basic idea is you can have a single connection with a hub and spoke network and via their connections you can access all these destinations. So if I want to send an order to the New York Stock Exchange, I send an order with my direct connection here to the hub. So my order goes in here and in here they have some kind of a you know fix engine that's going to accept my order and it's going to look at the tag like x destination for example so i have 100 equals nizy so okay 100 equals nizy all right that that order needs to be routed out to new york stock exchange so it goes ahead and sends it out via the new york stock exchange connection that the hub has so for example we had uh nifix was a hub and spoke network that we used to use and so this would be their network so I'm paying them for access to their network which gives me access to all of these potential destinations obviously the fees are based on what I'm connecting to and all these kind of things but the bottom line is they have all these connections all I need to do is connect to one place and I can access the New York Stock Exchange if I send different tags I can now say oh I, I want to send this order to broker one okay so it goes to broker one I can say, oh, I want to send this to broker two. So within the fixed message, I indicate where I want this to go to. So it goes in here, and it can get routed to broker two. Now, just to give you an idea of how you can do this kind of routing, the way that this would work in the fixed world is I would have a direct connection here. So I would be sending tag 49 to identify myself, and then I would be sending it to a 56, which is over here. So 56 is the comp ID for this network that I'm sending my order to. 49 is me. But then I'm also going to say a potentially an on behalf of. Maybe I'm sending an order on behalf of my client. So I could even be using a completely different system over here. They send an order to me, and I'm sending an order on behalf of 
but how do I get here? I can get there with a tag 100, like we said before. I can say 100 equals, uh, you know, whatever, whatever the tag is for New York Stock Exchange. Or for broker one, I can target broker one by saying uh, deliver to comp of B1. It's a horrible looking B. That's the worst B I've ever seen. Or I can say deliver to comp of B2. So when I send the order, I target 56. So that gets me into NIFIX. NIFIX knows who I am. They know I 49. And, and I'm saying to NIFIX, I say, hey, I want to send deliver to comp. My deliver to company is B1. So these guys in the hub know to route my order to B1. So B1 gets my order and they can process it back to me. So when they respond, they're going to respond in kind and say, 128 equals me, whatever my comp ID is. So, so they, they have a connection, 49, 56 as well. So, but in their message, they're going to say 128 equals me. Order comes in, or the execution comes back in here, and it indicates a delivery to comp of me. So this hub network knows to route the order to me as opposed to other clients that are also using the same hub network. So you have another client, client number two, Client number three, and that is how you know when these executions are coming back in, you know how to deliver them appropriately because you have the deliver to comp ID. So that's that's the basic structure of how a hub and spoke network works and an explanation of what the purpose of this kind of network is. You are watching Carlisle Speaks Wall Street and that is why you are going to subscribe because this video was helpful for you. I know it was. I know I helped you out a lot, so subscribe. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Options are just like coupons. Sir, you're in problem, Alpha Delta Night. I have two great reasons why you should subscribe to this channel right now. What is the bid price? The Number one, because you want to learn all about trading and trading technology and not fall asleep and not get a headache. My videos make you smile and make you finally understand complex topics like no other. Number two, because rather than listen to me self-promote, you're going to take a look at what some of my viewers are saying about my videos. Don't take my word for it. The proof is in the pudding. Or the comments. Take a look.